Hello everyone, welcome to Shorosos classes. In this video, I will be talking about MTech QROR 2018 examination, how to crack it, what are the study materials you need and how to proceed and about the entire process of the examination. It's conducted by Indian Statistical Institute and this examination needs you to clear undergraduate examination must. The institute has four campuses, one in Chennai, Tejpur, Delhi and Bangalore. These are the four places where you can study for MTech QR1. And there will be a test which is simple MCQ based and subjective both combination and you need to clear in order to get into ISI MTech QR1 course. The important dates are as follows. The online application starts in the first week of February 2018. The last date will be March 3rd week. This actually the tentative dates. They haven't given the exact date this year yet. Last date to make payment is also in the March. And remember that the examination will be in the second Sunday of 2018 May, which is 13th May result will be first week of June okay the eligibility criteria when we coming you need to have a master's degree in statistics mathematics and probability and statistics or you can have a BE or BTEC or equivalent degree and there must be mathematics at the graduation level now you don't need to have maths honors or you need to have it as a general course as well if you don't have a major then also it will be counted as a subject and uh, if you have chemistry and physics there should be a passing mark obviously now in MTQR entrance exam syllabus if we are talking about the first part is mathematics and statistics this optional so statistics s1 and there is a descriptive statistics they have in the standard univariate, they have all the types of distribution, normal, Poisson and binomial and the sampling distributions will be there. These all formula and the syllabus is given in my description. Remember that all these things will come as the MCQ portion as well as in the subjective segments well. So you need to really get a grip if you are a master student from the statistics background. Now coming to the part 2, S2 that is the classical, there will be probability will be taking a huge part and all the possible distributions like from uniform, exponential, normal, gamma, beta, poison, geometric, hypergeometric, multinomial, binomial, Bernoulli and AD binomial, everything are mixed up. So you need to get a good grip in our classes. I do my level best to give you the entire structure and the formula and the glimpse of the idea of how to solve the MCQs drive examination in a very short span of time of the ISI entrance. Remember that the first part you will get only 2 hours to answer the 30 MCQs and the second part you will get another 2 hours. For the engineering stream there will be mathematics, quadratic equations will be there simple please remember that this is the same syllabus for isi b style b math as well so this is uh, those who have been preparing for that so that will be better good uh, way out for them so there will be trigonometry there will be sequence and series and coordinate geometry as well okay engineering and technology based people and the thermodynamics those who have it so they can give this part okay so forces of plane analysis of trustees and uh, beans, columns and uh, laws of thermodynamics will obviously be an important part. So you need to get a good grip in your engineering books again. For this any gay type of book or now our study materials will also be helpful. And this is the electrical and electronics engineering portion where there will be networking, there will be circuit and engineering drawing of the concept of projection will also be an important part. When it comes to exam pattern, there will be two parts of the examination, part 1 and part 2. Part 1 of the is the objective nature and the part 2 is descriptive or subjective. There will be different exam pattern for the MTech course. This exam for MTech shall also comprise for two question papers such as paper 1 and paper 2. Now in the first question paper, questions will be from maths only 
and undergraduate level which we have already discussed and part 2 questions papers will be of mathematics but it will be of descriptive type. Remember that in ISI I have seen that if you do not manage to answer it properly that means you do not get the answer correct but your approach is good then also you will get good marks. In our classes we give the online and offline structure both classes in the online there will be regular online classes we have a weekday and weekend batches as well. You can contact us through the description provided below and there will be pre-recorded lectures and uh, pre-recorded lecture based classes if you want to take then you can do it and if you miss out some of our online live classes then also you can ask us and our staff will send you the lectures later. And students will also get doubt clearing sessions and the complete analysis as well. When it comes to offline or live classes, we are taking classes in two cities. One is New Delhi and the second one is Kolkata. There will be weekly doubt clearing classes, although the structures are almost same like it. And we from this year, we are providing study materials for free to every student of our classes. As uh, and our study materials you can find directly from our showresourceclasses.com website or else you can get it from these online websites. And you can contact us at this number, you can WhatsApp as well, some of our staff will obviously get back to you. And uh, this is our website, these are the two official email IDs. Hope to see you at ISI very soon. If there is any help you need, don't hesitate to call us. Thank you.